everyone. Namaskar, Rajkrishna this side. So let's solve one more problem from Newton Repson method. It says find the real root of the equation 3x minus cos x minus 1 equals to 0 with the help of Newton Repson method. So before solving this problem, uh, do set your calculator to radians because we will be using the values in radians in this problem. So it is advisable to set from degrees to radians. So let's write the function first. So what is our function? The function is 3x minus cos x minus 1. So let's find the interval in which the root lies. So for that by hit and try let's start from 0. So 3 into 0 is 0. Cos 1 is 1. Uh, sorry cos 0 is 1 and minus 1. So you are getting minus of 2 which is a negative value. Let's check at 1. So as I told you, uh, you will be using the values in radians. So 3 minus cos of 1 minus of 1. So this would be giving me, I am writing uh, till 4 decimal places. So f of 1 uh, will be 3 minus cos 1 minus 1 which I have calculated and got it to be equal to 1.45969 so I am writing 1.4597 as you can see this is a positive value so this clarifies that the root is lying between because root is lying when the sign changes so from negative to positive sign is changing so root of course lies between 0 and 1. Now it's your choice you want to go deeper uh, between this interval because the more deeper you go the easier the calculation will become. So let's go one more step deeper. Let's try 4.5. So if I try 4.5 uh, this will be a 3 into 0.5. This is of course uh, 1.5 minus cos of uh, 0 0.5 minus of 1. So this is giving me negative 0 0.3776. 37758. So I have written 3776. Again, this value is negative. As I told you, root lies when the sign changes. So instead of taking this f of 0, I am taking this point which is 0 0.5 and 1. So root is lying between 0 0.5 and 1. Now in this Newton Repson method, we choose x0 value. Now what I uh, prefer, I choose that value as x0 which is closer to 0. As you can see, you check for 1.4 and minus 0.3 which is closer to 0. 1.4 is 1.4 units to the right of 0. 0 0.3 if I just take the length and not the sign. So 1.4 is greater than 0 0.3 that is uh, this is uh, far farther fr farther from 0 as compared to this one. So I am taking x0 as 0 0.5 because at 0 0.5 the value which we are getting which is minus 0 0.3 is closer to 0. So this is 0 0.5 as x0. Now it's completely your choice again. You can take any way value between 0 0.5 and 1 also as x0. In my textbook which I am referring to they have taken 0 0.6 as the x0. Now what is the iterative formula in case of newton Repson method? The iterative formula is xn plus 1 equals to xn minus value of function at xn divided by value of derivative at xn. Fine. Now, because we need the derivative, so let's calculate derivative from here. So, f dash x will be equal to 3x derivative is 3. Cos derivative is negative sign, so plus sign. 
already one negative sign was there and minus one derivative is there. Three plus sin x came out to be the der derivative. Let's move further. So first iteration. For that, take n equals to zero. So that will give you x as x one. So x one will be x naught minus value of function at x naught divided by value of derivative at x naught. Fine. So x one will be x naught value zero point five. Minus value of function at zero point five is minus zero point three seven seven six, so this will uh, be uh, minus zero point three seven seven six. Derivative value at x naught. So derivative value at x naught will be just put zero point five in the derivative, which is three plus sine x. So three plus sine and in place of x write zero point five. So this is three point four seven nine four. Three point four seven nine four. Negative, negative, positive. So x one value will be. Let's jump to the calculator. Zero point five plus. Uh, I have zero point three seven seven six divided by. Three point four seven nine four. So this is giving out the value as zero point six zero eight five. This is the value which I am getting, which is zero point six zero eight five. Fine. Let's uh, go step further and to the second iteration. So second. iteration they have not clarified up to how many decimal places they want but if it, if matches we will see up to how many decimal places it matches so for second iteration i will take n as 1 so you will get x2 as x1 which is i am just writing the value this time minus value of function at x1 again value of function at x1 Which means three x minus cos x minus one. They are asking. So three into zero point six zero eight five minus cos x. So cos zero point six zero eight five minus of one. So this is coming out to be uh, four point. Nine nine three six into ten raised to power minus three. So if I simplify this, this is four point nine nine three six divided by thousand. So if I simplify it further, this will be ten raised to power four. So I can write this as uh, this is seven power so four one five okay zero point zero zero and four nine this is sufficient I think. So this value is what you are getting zero point zero zero four nine divided by value of derivative, which is three uh, plus sine x. So three plus sine x is zero point six zero eight five. So this is giving me three point five seven one six. Let's calculate the overall value. So zero point six zero eight five 
माइनस ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फोर नाइन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सेवन वन सिक्स सो दिस इज गिविंग अस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो सेवन वन सो इफ यू सी अप टू टू डेसिमल प्लेसेस इट इज मैच अप टू टू डेसिमल प्लेसेस इफ आई सी it is matching but let's calculate one iteration more and see what happens okay just for the sake of accuracy you can leave the video here if you want but let's try out the third iteration so x3 will be 0.x Three will be x two, which is zero point six zero seven one minus value of function at zero point six zero seven one, which is three into zero point six zero seven one minus cos of zero point six zero seven one minus of one. So this is again coming out to be uh, if I write in. Negative of five point eight eight four five into ten raised to power minus six. So I am writing here ten raised to power six. Again, I have the habit of writing because I bit confused in this calculation. So uh, if you drop down the powers, you will get ten uh, power four. So ten power ten. So I can write this as negative of three four one five is already there. So zero point. Zero, zero, zero. Uh, I'm just writing up to four decimal places, or even five, because I can't see the values any. So one, two, three, four, five, and then it will come five. Okay, this value I'm writing. And this will be multiplied by ten raised to power minus ten. Oh, I have already divided it. So, so this is the value I write. Wrote that last five because otherwise it will look zero, and the calculator will show exactly what it doesn't need to show. So zero point uh, five zeros and a five. so because that is negative so let's write plus here so 0.0000 and i think five zeros were there that was followed by and what is the derivative derivative is 3 plus sin x so if i find that 3 plus sin of 0.60 7 so this is 3.5704. Let's have our finger crossed and do the calculation. 0.6071 plus 0.00005 times and a 5. 3. Five seven zero four. Oh, finally we have got it. Zero point six zero seven one zero one. I am just writing six zero seven one because it matches till it matches till what it uh, x three and x four. So let's clarify that. X two and X three, sorry, X two and X three matches till four places of decimal so approx root of that equation is 
zero point six zero seven one. So uh, in the textbook, if I see, they got it in the second iteration itself, and they have taken uh, the x naught value as zero point six. Might be a bit uh, di different in calculation, but yes, they have taken zero point six. That might be the reason. Otherwise, I can't see any reason. Uh, you must check uh, sometimes because these calculations are different. So, but the process remains uh, exact, and that is function. Let's check hit and try where the root lies. So it lies between zero and one. Further, if you zoom in, it lies between zero point five and one. I took zero point five as x naught because zero point uh, At zero point five, the value which you are getting is closer to zero. Then the iterative formula x n plus one is equal to x n minus value at function at x n divided by derivative at x n. First iteration, second iteration, third iteration, second and third iteration values of x matches till four decimal places. So that is the approximate root of this equation. You can watch out more such problem in the playlist iterative techniques and interpolation. Thanks again.